Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Oh, hey. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a few GIFs uh, the Michael way. It's real easy, but uh, let's see here. It's it's really easy once you get used to it, but um, there's a few tricks that maybe will be useful to you. So uh, let's check out. I I just want to do this from the beginning with capturing frames and importing and everything. So let's. So I use KM player to capture the frames. That's optional. You could use VLC and so on, but uh, I like this one. I wanted to capture the part where she's switching seats with Idris. Uh, that's like, where the fuck is it? All right, fuck it. Let's just do this. Uh, so Control G gets up, brings up the capturing. Just choose your folder. I have a special one for her because she's special. Then I use JPEG, that's the middle quality, but if you set it all the way to the max, it's basically lossless and it doesn't set your computer on fire. So you just let it play and it captures the parts you want. Let's get some more. Wow, I don't want to give any of you switch to her. Now zoom in, please. Please zoom in. <laughs> All right, this is just as an example. So, uh, so that's done. Go into the folder you just used. Uh, just oh, I have some old caps as well. I'll just remove all the shitty parts. Oh, great! This shouldn't take long to import. So I use Photoshop CC. I actually pay for it because I'm not. Uh, I'm atoning for my past sins. But um, you can use basically any version of Photoshop that you find on shady websites. So I have hotkeys to import, but I'll show you the old fashioned way. You go in the file, uh, sc scripts, load files into stack. This is not a custom thing, it's default in Photoshop. So browse, go into the folder, control A, choose everything, okay. Takes a second to count everything. Then you just let it run like this. I'm gonna take a break so I know the audio the audio is working. Thanks. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, back. So I listen to myself and I sound very relaxed. So this will be your ASMR follow job tutorial. <laughs> All right, so it basically what's happened is that it was done importing everything. So it looks like this. You have all the layers here, but you have no frames, so you can't really do much. So just create a frame animation. Your Photoshop might not have this bottom part, but you can find it in window. Wait, yeah, just select timeline here. So, uh, and now you have one frame that doesn't help us a lot but you just go here and make more from these layers and it's done so now you're almost ready but it's backwards because it's I we just don't know there we go now it's the right way oh I should have maybe told you you go here and then uh, reverse reverse <laughs> 
and you should also take note that it's not looping so you should make a loop down here mm -hmm. um, so this is the or original image size from the movie so let's change that I like to just use the crop tool and just enter the pixels I want so let's do now let's let's make it big like this and it's so it's always a good idea to move the edges in because as you can see there's a black line and even sometimes you can't see the black line but it's there and then you can see it once you're done so you should really do this either way and just double click or enter and it'll it'll crop uh, I should maybe have positioned that first and I'll just go ahead let's see again examples I'm not gonna take forever so here's another important bit we need to sharpen this motherfucker so there's a lot of ways to do that but I just use an action it's called GIF action by James Buchanan he's guessing this is a Tumblr user I got it from like two years ago they've, they've probably changed their URL nine times since then but uh, maybe you can find it so it's so easy I just play it and then I wait wait for it Look at this shit. Look how sharp she is. And it's also set the speed to 0 0.05, which is the correct speed. If you don't use this, then you belong in the loony bin, basically. So let's color this as well. Because while it looks good when you're watching it full size, you always want to make it pop for your dashboard, your Tumblr feed. So let's... Uh, okay. So when, when I color GIFs, I don't have any presets or PSDs or anything like that. I just make it up on the spot. Uh, it's important that you choose the top layer so you don't accidentally make it only active on the first frame because that sucks and then i use the adjustment section here and like i said i don't really have a plan i just add stuff until it looks good so what i typically add at this point are a couple curves layers to add linear contrast and then lighter and then I pump up the vibrance and then I make it a bit more red and it's important to make click the eye on every layer so it applies to all of it So look at this, I spent like 20 seconds and look at the difference. Huh? And for only $2.99, you can, no, I'm kidding. Um, but you can, this was really lazy, but, but you can go in and change the parameters. Like you can, if you drag this on a linear contrast curve, you can increase it as much as you want. You can do the same with the lighter, you can make it lighter again. I like the way it looks like this. Yeah, this is good. Sorry, that was a burp. Uh, now let's do text. I didn't actually bother to check what they're saying but we can add imaginary text just go here choose where the text will be 
what should she say? Uh, I wish Mikhail was here. Me too, Jessica. Uh, there we go. And then, so it's not just white text. You can right click it and go into blending options. And I only use stroke and drop shadow stroke with uh, really soft settings I mean like one pixel and then some drop shadow again two pixel distance I just want that subtle effect there we go make sure it's on every frame and when you add effects you need to choose this as well now it's on every frame. <laughs> God, I love her face. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, remove all the frames it doesn't apply to because I can always go back. Um, gifts these big, gifts this big usually can't have that many frames. I'm guessing 30 frames will be about it. Uh, so I'll leave 30 frames. All right. Oh, I have a hotkey for this, so I should show you. Uh, so I'm basically ready to export this. So, yeah. So in CC, they call it legacy, but it's the same. It just doesn't say legacy file export, say for, for web. And f okay, so Tumblr operates with a three megabyte limit right now, and this is four megabytes because the, there's a lot of movement in the back that usually hikes up the, hikes up the file size. So yeah, let's put it down to 20 two frames wait what okay that's 22 all right so a bit over three megabytes but you don't need 204 colors you can do 180 190 yeah cool there you have it there you have it save uh and then you just go back in your history and you repeat the process. <laughs> God, I love that. Wait, oh, I should come up with something funny. Um, okay, so he's well, if I told you he's looking at you right now, and then we make the text yellow because it's a different person talking. Export. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Could probably make this 200. Yeah. Save. That's awesome. That's amazing. And then she says, oh, oh, wow. Uh, 27, 29, 20. Quick math, quick math. I would die. Amazing, amazing. So let's see what monster we've just created. Uh, just <sighs> 
show you six examples here. I already made these before. Beautiful, amazing. And then these joke gifts. <laughs> whoa, whoa, holy shit. Uh, yeah. It's that easy. Come on, guys. You can do the same. All right. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys.